everyone, this is Maria from Wikimedia Deutschland and today I want to tell you a little bit more about partnering up for Wikidata in the Wikimedia movement and especially on Wikidata software development. Um, I'm a project manager at Wikimedia Deutschland uh, for a couple of years now and at the moment I'm focusing on projects around Wikidata and Wikibase. Wikimedia Deutschland has been around since 2004 and currently we're located in Berlin, Germany next to supporting communities like the Wikipedia community or like free knowledge communities in general. We are also hoping to improve political and legal, legal frameworks for the free knowledge movement and also are developing software for Wikimedia projects. Um, among others, we are doing the software development for Wikidata and Wikibase since 2012 and since then um, like a, a super vibrant community of volunteers, other affiliates, movement groups, data enthusiasts has been growing um, around this um, product. The partnership I want to talk about uh, now has the starting point of um, our movement strategy, which I hope everyone heard about by now. Um, our strategy process and our movement strategy that includes, among others, again, for example, that we want to invest more in skills and leadership uh, development in the movement or to increase uh, the equity in decision making. And what we've been wondering is, like, what can we do? What can we change about the things, how we do things um, to breathe life into those uh, strategy recommendations? And what we came up with um, is to create a prototype of collaboration with another community or another movement group and have them enable to contribute to the software development of Wikidata and Wikibase, preferably in a sustainable and scalable way. We are able to do this because we have received a grant from the Arcadia Foundation for the next three years. Um, we spent the first 12 months of this to focusing on finding a movement partner or movement groups who are willing to commit to such a partnership, but also to figure out the whole setup and establishment of this partnership um, among the organizations, to then focus on the actual implementation um, in the next couple of years and to connect all of this to like the bigger ecosystem of Wikidata and Wikibase. The kind of stuff we've been doing for the past 12 months was to uh, reach out to the Wikidata community to make it known that we're looking for such partners. So then after we received um, some interests um, from movement groups to spend time on getting to know each other, getting to know our ideas about the possible projects, about our communities. We also had to figure out how we want to set up those things, kind of what kind of processes we need, what kind of rules and documents for documentation and monitoring, and also um, to fulfill the duties from our uh, grant giver, the Arcadia Foundation. Um, when it was time to make a decision, we were faced with the plan that we were um, setting out to find like one partner, but have actually decided at this point that we want to partner up with both interested groups that reached out to us, even though we're going to do this in like different ways. Um, and which is ongoing now is we have that kind of knowledge sharing. We want to build up capacity for software development and other communities and continue doing this in the next couple of months. The kind of things we learned while the first 12 months uh, have now kind of come to an end is ha having an open call and just like putting your idea out there and make people come to you. Um, you will, um, um, yeah, you, you will get aware of communities and people you haven't worked with in the past. Uh, one thing we also learned is that there's no one size fits all partnership. We kind of figured out the, the kind of projects and the kinks of the partnership as we were getting to know our potential partners, which um, made the kind of setup we have now fit uh, very well, I think. Um, you should plan in all those knowledge sharing activities because if you don't, you just won't have the time. <laughs> and also be aware that not all movement groups are so privileged. This is coming from Wikimedia Deutschland, which is rather um, big and has a lot of resources that not all uh, groups and communities can spend that much time on preparing such a partnership. And with this, I'm happy to um, have you introduced to our both partners, the ICPO Wikimedians User Group, as well as Wikimedia Indonesia. 
Wikimedia Indonesia, non-profit organization based in Jakarta, Indonesia, is dedicated to encouraging the growth, development, and dissemination of knowledge in Indonesian and other language spoken in Indonesia. As one of the local chapters active in the Asia region, Wikimedia Indonesia has supported 14 Wikipedias in languages spoken in Indonesia, 12 regional-based Wikimedia communities spread across the country, and also two other Wikimedia project-based communities. Along with its development, there are needs that arise from the communities regarding technical support for Wikimedia projects. There are challenges that need to be faced, like differences of languages spoken in each community, the lack of internet access, the absence of guidelines, especially for newcomers, and also the editing method for Wikimedia projects so far, which tend to favor the contributors from Europe and North America. One of Wikimedia Indonesia's visions for the next two years is to increase our technological capacities for our organization and also for the communities in Indonesia. In line with this vision, we are very excited to work with Wikimedia Dutzland for this collaboration project. We are really looking forward for this project because Wikimedia Dutzland has capacities related to the technologies. With this opportunity, we are very grateful to be able to learn from Wikimedia Dutzland on how to develop open source software that can be beneficial to the Wikimedia movement. Together with Igbo Wikimedians user group, we will collaborate on Wikidata software collaboration project. Within the next two years, we will build our own software team. The software team will be focusing in helping the community to solve their needs and then also to helping under resourced language communities to contribute in flourishing their languages online through lexicographical data and also involving the communities in contributing to lexemes on Wikidata. There are a total four languages that we plan to develop lexemes in Wikidata, namely Indonesian language, Minangkabau language, Sundanese language, and Makassaris language. Through this project, we are very eager to learn not just in terms of increasing our technological capacities, but also in building a sustainable and scalable software development environment that can be useful to the Wikimedia movement. Therefore, with this software collaboration project, we hope that this will emerge as a step for us to strengthen our movement and also for us to be together in freeing the knowledge. Hello everyone, my name is Benedict Fude from the Igbo Wikimedia User Group and the Wikimentor Africa Program Coordinator. With me, I have Toti Precious, who is the co-founder of the Igbo Wikimedia User Group, as well as the Outreach Coordinator for Wikimentor Africa. Um, before we start, I would like for Toti to just give us an overview of the Igbo Wikimedia User Group. Toti? Um, thank you, Benedict. Hi, everyone. So um, the Igbo Wikimedia and Suza Group is a group of volunteers um, seeking to advance the free knowledge sharing mission using various Wikimedia projects. And we do this in form of clubs, fan clubs, um, in form of fan clubs. These fan clubs are <coughs> university clubs um, in tertiary institutions or maybe in secondary schools. Then we also have hubs. These hubs are kind of thematic um, hubs, kind of thematic clubs in the sense that it could be a group of librarians, it could be um, a group of Wikidata enthusiasts, it could be a, a, a group of Wikicommons enthusiasts. So this is um, what the Igbo Wikimedia User Group is all about in an overview. So I'm going to take it back um, to the Wikimental Africa program where Benedict is going to be telling us more about the program. Hi, Benedict. Thank you very much, uh, Tuchi, for that very brief overview uh, of the Igbo Wikimedia User Group. So Wikimental Africa, what is the Wikimental Africa program all about? Um, the Wikimental Africa program is a program that is designed to help new and inexperienced developers, programmers, technical writers um, in the African communities on not just how to make edits on Wikidata, but mentoring Africans on building and maintaining um, Wikidata tools, as well as other Wikimedia tools, um, by pairing them with more experienced Wikidata tool creators and contributors. 
So how do we achieve this? How do we how do we do this? Um, we did this by having experienced uh, technical Wikimedians come on board on our platform as mentors. And we, in turn, we, the Wikimento Africa team, um, we organize a two to three days online event um, monthly. Um, these events are monthly, and the aim of these events are to just avail the participants or the mentees um, the opportunity to meet the mentors, as well as the mentors the opportunity to meet the mentees. Um, next, we'll be talking about the collaboration we have with uh, the Wikimedia Dutchland. Um, I will ask Teti, do you want to talk about this? Yeah, um, the collaboration is something I was always proud of. So our collaboration with Wikimedia Deutschland started this year, and um, the Wikimedia Deutschland is collaborating with the Igbo Wikimedia Social Group as well as the Wikimedia Indonesia. And for this, I'm going to be talking about the collaboration with the Igbo Wikimedia Social Group. The essence of the collaboration is to enable the Wikimental Africa um, program make greater impact. And this collaboration is both in form of a multi-year funding, um, program support, and as well as um, guidance. So um, we sometimes we meet to discuss how the program um, is going. We have follow-up meetings to discuss maybe the challenges we have, and um, we get advice, suggestions, and comments in this regard, and we get to improve on the program, including various aspects. So the, the collaboration has actually been a very great and helpful one. Um, so next, I'm going to give it back to um, um, Benedict is going to talk about our achievements so far, and this achievement is also based on the collaboration we have through with Wikimedia Deutschland. Hi, Benedict. I think you can go next. Yeah, thank you very much. Um, like Tochi said, um, so far we've had a couple of achievements, and um, this is as a result of um, the collaboration we have had with uh, we have with the Wikimedia Deutschland. Um, we've had four editions, four successful editions. Um, by editions, I mean the four monthly, we've had four monthly um, events that we've organized. And in these events, we've had three mentors come on board. And these three mentors are not just from one particular place, they cut across countries, they will cut across continents. Um, so we've had mentors from Germany, from Belgium, from Cameroon, who've come on board. And these mentors have adopted um, uh, some of the mentees, 11 to be precise so far. Um, over 200 participants as well um, across this edition have joined us across these various editions we've had. And also we've had these participants from five different countries, from five different African countries, from Nigeria, Cameroon, Ghana, Tanzania, Cote d'Ivoire. And so with these achievements, what, what are we planning to achieve next? What are, we, what are we looking forward to in the future? So what we are looking forward to in the future, one of the major things we're also looking forward to in the future is to get more experienced software developers, more experienced technical writers, more experienced programmers come on board to be mentors. Um, we're also looking forward to having, uh, to develop and maintain at least one community to um, that, that is inclusive. Um, we're not just looking at having um, mentors and uh, mentees come for mentorship, but we're also looking at having a product um, that will be beneficial to our community, to the African community. Also, another thing we're looking forward to also is to get more African communities on board. Um, like I said earlier on, um, so far we've had five, community, uh, four, five um, African communities on board. We're looking forward to having more on board. And then also, we're also looking forward to, of course, funding. Um, we're looking forward to access to more funding uh, to be able to keep this, uh, this initiative sustainable. We don't want to just have this for one year or two years. We want to have this ongoing um, so that we can even, at some point, move from Africa to a global initiative. And yeah, but this, uh, I know you're wondering, how can you get involved? And so, um, Tichi, I'm allowed Tichi to just tell us how you can get involved. Um, Tichi? Yeah, um, so if you're wondering, hey, this is beautiful, how can I get involved? There are various ways you can join us in this project, um, this program or project. So um, first of all, you can join us as a mentor. You can um, help us to train um, the 
community members. You can also help us to adopt mentees. Um, you can also tell someone to tell someone about the program. You never know, we might from there get more mentors as well, or even um, participants also. You can also help us reach out to other mentors, or maybe you can tell us how we can reach them. And we are happy to reach out to more people who can get involved in the program, because from what we're seeing, it's going to be something that would um, bring a whole lot more people. And if you feel you can be a mentor, you can tell someone else where you want to learn something, feel free to join us as a participant. So um, you can get to our project page to see how um, you can sign up or you, get, you can read more about the Wikimentor Africa project. So, um, Benedict. Yeah, thank you very much, Tochi. Uh, like Tochi said, uh, you can go, maybe if you're still undecided, if you're still not sure, if the program is for you, um, just visit our page, visit our project page, Wikimental Africa. Um, the link to the, to the page which is dropped on the, on the chat. Um, also um, visit, um, if, you, if you, after visiting it, you feel, oh, this is for me, I want to reach out, you can also reach out to us. We have a Telegram group, which the link is also dropped there. And just in case you want to visit our previous editions, you can also find these on our project page. So having said all this, and thank you very much for listening. Thank you. Thank you. Everyone. Dalu. Dalu. Everyone. <laughs>